It would be a fool's errand to even begin to pretend that we understand all of this. What makes things tick and why we are all here. All we know truly is to relish in its beauty and wonder for as long as we can. Before death comes to us all, one way or another. There is a moment that arises for all of us when the reality of our one finite life becomes very apparent. This can happen as early as infancy, but for me it was after the passing of my grandmother. With my parents in their mid-sixties and my granddad rapidly approaching 90, every day, joke and embrace feels more special and precious than ever before. This time we all share is a mere drop in the ocean of time. Life can be a lonely endeavour, much better enjoyed in company. Finding meaning in my life is something that is an ongoing battle. As I have entered adulthood, my awareness of global events and the realities of being a human being have ramped up. It has given me more appreciation for my existence, however it is a double-edged sword. We live in a world where there is more and more information and less and less meaning. Jean Barriard The definition of a simple life has changed drastically over the last 100 years. Life goes on with or without us and it's so important to make the most of our time. The pursuit of happiness is complicated. Happiness happens to us, even though we may seek it, desire it and pursue it. Feeling happiness is not a choice we make. Joy, on the other hand, is a choice purposefully made. Joy relies on attitude, the perspective you choose to possess. If the cup is half full or half empty, it is more than hope. It isn't a blind belief in something, it's calculated and positive. Critical thinking without hope is cynicism. Hope without critical thinking is naivety. Maria Pavova.
The cynicism that exists in this world is so damaging, and in my experience, being a cynic is one of the easiest options. Nothing worth doing is easy, however. A quote I really connected with is, I used to think that the top environmental problems were biodiversity loss, ecosystem collapse and climate change. I thought that 30 good years of science could address these problems. I was wrong. The top environmental problems are selfishness, greed and apathy. And to deal with these we need a cultural and spiritual transformation. And we scientists don't know how to do that. James Gustav Speth It highlights that people can do so much damage, but with self-reflection, awareness and a shift in attitude, we can all make the world a better place and tackle this threat together. There's always joy around, but we just need to learn and embrace how it can be extracted. Joy does not simply happen to us. We have to choose joy and keep choosing it every day. Henry. Now then. Reflection in the Water, a short poem. Your father's spitting image, they said. Throwing rocks, the water gets rough. In an effort to muddy the reflection I run away from. 
water laps at my bare feet on the shoreline, whispering my name. I wade into the water with the hope that it isn't as cold as it once was, that the rocks don't cut my soles, and I float this time. In an attempt to overcome these fears, as the surface settles, I look at my reflection in the eyes and I apologise for running. The escape from the shadow I cast in front of me wasn't going to be that easy, I thought, as the sun greeted me in the cold. Reflections. After much self-reflection and introspective thinking, the idea of individuality has resonated deeply with me. Viktor Frankl, in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, says, How can we learn to know ourselves, never by reflection, but by action? Try to do your duty and you will find out who you are. But what is your duty? The demands of each day. It highlights the importance of learning by doing, seeing what works for each of us individually. How we have our own puzzles to solve, starting with the edge pieces. The importance of picking up those first pieces in the beginning in an attempt to try and start our quest. Trying is all we can ask of ourselves. The purpose of life is not happiness alone, but also the development of character and the quest for meaning. I invite you on this quest as we pursue meaning and joy 